welcome to the 2020 virtual award ceremony for the Coshocton County Chamber of Commerce. To say 2020 has been a challenging and unique year is probably an understatement. However, after planning four annual award dinners, we have decided to move our award ceremony virtual. So please bear with us and I hope you enjoy as we celebrate the people that make Coshocton a unique place to live and work. Our awards that we are giving out today, there'll be four of them, they're each sponsored by different organizations in our community. The Young Leader of the Year is sponsored by Central Ohio Technical College. The Employee of the Year is sponsored by the Coshocton Rotary Club. The First Responders Award is sponsored by the Coshocton County Commissioners. And the prestigious Coshoctonian Award is once again sponsored by the Coshocton County Chamber of Commerce. We hope that you will enjoy and help us celebrate these people that make Coshocton what we know and love. Thank you to the Coshocton County Chamber of Commerce for this year's virtual dinner and award ceremony. I was so looking forward to personally interacting with our friends here in Coshocton, but I understand and support the reasons for this virtual gathering. As the sponsor of the Young Leader of the Year's Award, I appreciate the opportunity to shine a spotlight on another outstanding individual in the Coshocton community. If I could quote just a few of the many nominations submitted. One person wrote, she is passionate about our community and always puts forth an incredible effort and energy level in whatever role she is in. Another writes, she has become an advocate for encouraging young local educated professionals to consider Coshocton County as a place to live, work, and raise their families. And finally, a third shared, she is an exception for our generation for various reasons, and her unique qualities should be showcased. This individual has held different positions since graduating from The Ohio State University with a bachelor's degree and Muskingum College with her master's degree. She worked at the Ohio Department of Agriculture in Reynoldsburg before returning to Coshocton to work at the Coshocton Job and Family Services as a program director. She provided program management training and assistance to state ABLE administrators through the National Leadership Excellence Academy. She served as a program manager for the Ohio Board of Regents in Columbus, directly responsible for administering millions of federal and state grant monies to 13 ABLE grantees. In 2013, she came back to Coshocton to work at the Ohio Means Jobs as a business employment coordinator. And in 2015, she accepted the position of executive director for the Clary Gardens Foundation. I'm sure you've already guessed by now that I am referring to Jandy Adams. Many of you have worked side by side with Jandy and with many of her projects, such as the Master Gardener Volunteer, uh, Board Chair of The Ohio State University, Executive Board Member with United Way of Coshocton County, Member of the Coshocton Rotary Foundation, Economics for Success Volunteer, Junior Achievement of North Central Ohio, Session Reviewer with Ohio Education Technologies Conference, the Coshocton Representative for Employee Engagement with Employment First Initiative. The Council Volunteer with Coshocton Safety Council. Workforce Development Co-Chair with Community Development Committee. Active Member of the Coshocton County Chamber of Commerce. Advisory Member of the Local WIA Advisory Committee. Chair of the Board of Trustees for the Health Services and Hospice of Coshocton. And finally, and most importantly, well, at least to me, Board Chair of the Coshocton Campus Advisory Board for Central Ohio Technical College. Jeannie has proven to be a respected member of the Coshocton community and a valuable partner to many organizations within and around Coshocton. She is committed to improving the lives of people in the community. Please join me in recognizing Jandy Adams as this year's recipient of the 2020 Coshocton County Young Leader of the Year Award. Christy Gerke, current president of the Coshocton Rotary Club. I'm here to present the Employee of the Year Award, and this award was created in 1997 by the Coshocton Rotary Club to um, recognize vocational excellence and the practice of high ethical standards in the workplace. On behalf of the Coshocton Rotary Club, I would like to thank the local business community for your continued support of the award through employee nominations. All are worthy of recognition and their contributions to their employer and the community are exemplary. 2020 marks the 23rd year that the Coshocton Employee of the Year Award will be presented. And we are very pleased to honor two recipients. 
Our first recipient is Barb Carr. Barb is a bookkeeper and deputy clerk with the Coshocton County Clerk of Courts Office. Barb has worked in this role for three and a half years as it has been employed by the county for over 15 years. Barb is described as a dependable, hardworking employee who is an innovative thinker. She is always looking for and creating ways to make the workflow simpler and more efficient for the office. In 2018, Barb suggested that the Clerk of Courts apply for a technology grant offered by the Ohio Supreme Court. Barb was instrumental in writing the grant that resulted in an award of $212,750 in 2019. That grant was a game changer and has allowed the Clerk of Courts office to move forward into the 21st century. Barb is a 2014 graduate of Leadership Coshocton County and serves on the Coshocton County Board of Developmental Disabilities, where she is currently the secretary. Barb has also been appointed as a board member trustee representing Coshocton County on the Ohio Association of Boards of Developmental Disabilities. In our community, Barb has poured her heart and soul into our town, Coshocton, where she is a past president. Barb has led and worked on many projects with our town, including the special project the special clock project in memory of past board members and the courthouse lighting project. Barb has worked tirelessly to bring organizations into our town to assist with revitalization, including Main Street America and Heritage Ohio. Through these efforts, the downtown Coshocton area has been declared a historic district, which will enable those who work to improve buildings located within the district to apply to receive historic tax credits. The Coshocton County Rotary Club is pleased to present Barb Carr of the Coshocton County Clerk of Courts Office with the Coshocton County Employee of the Year Award. Our next recipient is Carol Hadrowski, a 20-year employee of People's Bank and their predecessor, Ohio Heritage Bank. Carol is a universal banker and, an, and as an essential frontline worker has served the bank's clients through the pandemic. Carol also assists with training in the workplace and is responsible for ordering supplies for the bank and her coworkers. Carol's nominator shared comments from customers and coworkers and all shared a common theme. Carol goes the extra mile to exceed expectations and to provide a consistent positive experience. A coworker shared the following about Carol. Carol has always been a dedicated employee and an extremely hard worker. I can't compliment her, or compliment her organizational skills enough and she makes it look effortless. She is someone you can count on and is always willing to help if she can. Carol is a great asset to the bank. Carol is a lifelong resident of Coshocton County and is a member of Central Christian Church where she plays the bells. Carol also serves on the Coshocton County Junior Fair Livestock Committee as the treasurer. In addition to handling accounts receivable and payments, Carol collaborates with the cashiering and technology team to ensure that the cashiering the night of the auction runs as smoothly as possible. Carol has also served as the treasurer of the recent OSU Renewal Levy Committee. I am now very pleased to present the Employee of the Year Award to Carol Hydroski. My name is Dee Curtis Lee. I'm here with uh, Dane Schrock and Gary Fisher. It's our privilege to be able to award the uh, First Responder Lifetime Achievement Award. This is the third year for the award and it's uh, a chamber award. Uh, this year's winner is John Mosier. John Mosier is a 1968 graduate of Valparaiso Technical Institute. He joined the Indiana State Police as a communications officer in 1968, then transferred to the Indianapolis Police Department in 1969. John returned to Coshocton in 1972 and began working part-time for Sheriff Bill Hoop and began working full-time for Dave Corbett in 1981. In January 2001, he was promoted Chief Deputy by Sheriff Tim Rogers, a position he held until his retirement in September 2006. After retirement, he became a bailiff at Coshocton County Common Pleas Court for Judge Evans and later Judge Batchelor. John fully retired in February 2018, exactly 50 years from his first commission. While working for Common Pleas Court, he also helped at the County Commissioner's Office 
in transitioning first responders to the state marks radio system and expanding internet service to rural parts of the county. John lives in Oxford Township with his wife Christy, two horses, one dog, and five cats. He is the father of two daughters, Angela Phillips, CPA, and Dr. Chris Lee Nicely, DVM. He also has three wonderful grandchildren. He and Christy attend Isleta Methodist Church, and he gives credit for any success he has enjoyed to God and his family. He is thankful for the many elected officials, supervisors, and co-workers he has worked with over the years, and is forever indebted to the citizens of Coshocton County. And John, we have to do a lot of things in the scope of our job, and this is uh, something that's very enjoyable and very deserved. Hello, and thank you for watching this special video recognizing Coshocton County's finest leaders. It is certainly a new and different year, and while some things have been harder, the Coshocton community has always been a resilient one. And we are excited to move forward and recognize the Coshoctonian for 2020. The Coshoctonian Award recognizes an individual's long-term contribution to the well-being and economic climate of the community. The recipient must be a resident of Coshocton County. And it's not the Coshoctonian of the Year Award. Rather, it recognizes the totality of a person's contribution to our community during his or her lifetime. There have been no posthumous awards. The members of the selection committee are the chamber president, the chamber past president, the chamber executive director, a representative of the city government, usually the mayor, a representative of our county government, usually the chairperson of the commissioners, and a past recipient, usually the previous years. After studying the nomination, the committee decides upon a recipient during a meeting in February. Each year's selection has always been unanimous. The Coshoctonian is one of the most prestigious honors of our community and the community that recognizes it. The award is, in a sense, the Lifetime Achievement Award for Coshocton's leaders. In short, those who have been recognized as Coshoctonian have made a difference in our community. Coshocton is a different and better place because they were and are here. This is certainly true for this year's recipient. A true man of service, this year's Coshoctonian has been serving most of his life. From the Army, to City Council, to a Rotarian who exemplifies service above self, he has lived his life in the service of others. This year's recipient of Coshoctonian Award is Tom Edwards. And in a year that has been different in many ways in my lifetime, I thought it might be good to look at Tom's journey in a different way as well. Tom is a believer in people and talks about how most people are truly good. In his humility, he believes that anyone can be a Coshoctonian. So with that in mind, I have five lessons on Tom Edwards' journey to becoming the 2020 Coshoctonian. Lesson one. It doesn't matter where you start, it matters who you hang out with. Tom was born poor. He lived in a poor area in Kentucky that Tom calls the wrong side of the tracks. But Tom became friends with another kid on the other side of the tracks named Dave Reed, and they became lifelong friends. Tom said that Dave talked him into doing better in school, hanging out with a different crowd, and even considering college. By changing his crowd, Tom is convinced it helped him change his life trajectory. Lesson two we actually can all get along. When Tom was in the army, he ended up being a lieutenant over 40 men. The men were from all over the country and all kinds of ethnicity, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, with a common goal and a common fear. We all have the ability to get along. According to Tom, this time taught him in the army many things about people and about leadership. Lesson three, there is never a perfect time, just start. You hear people talk all the time about how tough a time it is right now. And while 2020 certainly has come with more than its share of challenges, it's important to remember that things are never perfect. If we wait for perfect, we will never get off the couch. When Tom bought Our Ace hardware, things looked pretty bleak too. The hardware store was failing. It was ready to close before Tom took ownership. It was 1982 and times were tough. The unemployment rate at that time in Coshocton County was, wait for it, 16%. And the interest rate on Tom's loan was 21%. Those numbers seem crazy to say out loud right now. And during these times, plenty of people will tell you not to take a chance. There will be plenty of people that will tell you your idea won't work, but there's never a perfect time or a perfect situation. Just start anyway. Lesson four, take care of the golden goose. 
When you look at even a partial list of the ways Tom Edwards has served Coshocton County, it's hard to get your head around. Please indulge me in just as a few, as I mentioned, just a few. Board member, Coshocton County Chamber of Commerce. Board member, Coshocton County Port Authority. Coshocton Foundation Distribution Committee. The Coshocton Rotary Club Board Member of Kids America. Eight years on Coshocton City Council and even an adjunct professor at COTC. When you look at this woefully incomplete list, sorry, there just isn't enough time, you might wonder why an entrepreneur and business owner would take all of this time to serve his community. You might wonder, but I actually asked him. Tom said, it's pretty simple. You have to take care of the golden goose. Coshocton County is our golden goose. If you stop taking care of the goose, it stops laying golden eggs. Each of us has the chance to care for the golden goose. We just need to step up and do it. Lesson five, everything will be okay. Tom talks about remembering the polio scare in the 50s. During that time, people were afraid to go out, and Tom recalls that his grandmother would not let him go to the public pool for fear that he would contract polio. It was a scary, it was a scary time, but we came through it. Now we are living through a scary time again, for many reasons. But Tom points out the silver lining. People will stay home more and be with their families, Tom said. He pointed out that he hopes that they paint and fix up their homes, too, during this time. In addition, Tom thinks that this could mean good things for Coshocton County as well. The changes in technology mean that people might want to move to a community like ours. The point is simple. While this is a trying time, we will get through it. And while some things may change, some, will come, some will good will come out of it. Everything will be okay. In my conversation with Tom, he talked about a deep respect for Coshoctonians that came before him. He talked with reverence about the difference that each of them made in the community. And he discussed that this award was not just about money. It was about service. Tom learned lessons about service and community from those that came before him. And he passes just a few of these lessons on to you. Tom Edwards is a man of service and Coshocton County is different and better because he chose to serve this community. Please join me in congratulating Tom Edwards as the recipient of the 2020 Coshoctonian Award. Well, these are difficult times and uh, difficult for the chamber to put all this together. So Amy, thank you. And Kirby, thank you. And the chamber board, thank you. Kirby, you got the hard part. You've got to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, as my grandmother would say. But... Uh, I've witnessed many of the uh, recipients of this award in the past, and most recipients were senior citizens, and their acceptance speech uh, reflected on their journey through life and the people that helped them along the way with some words of wisdom at the, at the end. And I learned something from every one of them. So hopefully today, although I might not fit the mold of some of the past recipients, except for the, the senior citizen part, I've been blessed to have many people help me along my journey. My wife, daughter, son-in-law, granddaughter, our bankers, our attorneys, our accountants, our employees, to help us get us where we are. I was blessed to be able to get an education thanks to the Army. I'm blessed to have good employees and now some of them are shareholders and they helped us grow our business and provide for our families. I'm blessed to make Coshocton County my home, a county that has idle AEP smokestacks, two closed paper mills, closed pretty products, downsized community hospitals, closed General Electric, Shaw Barton, Fenton Equipment, Woodbury Outfitters, Baker's Foods. Quite a list. But Coshocton might have been kicked and stomped economically, but it's not out. Residents figured out a way to work by commuting to other cities. They figured out a way to stay here and work via Zoom anywhere. They figured out a way to sell anywhere in the world via the internet, on eBay or Etsy or Facebook, even some on Amazon. We have new restaurants on Main Street, renovating aging downtown buildings, expanding a dog biscuit company, and now a new hangout tavern for beer and gourmet hot dogs. I'm sure there's more economic activity that will come, 
Maybe the best is yet to come. But we live in uncertain times. And I remember other uncertain times. Until the salt polio vaccine came out in the late 50s, I remember my mother's concern about her kids contacting polio and being in leg braces or breathing with the help of an iron lung, a big metal machine, and then dying a slow death. Young folks might not know what leg braces are or what the polio scare was all about, but if you watch the movie Forrest Gump, Forrest had leg braces. Now they're kind of a thing of the past now because the grassroots organizations and health departments around the world got the vaccine out to everybody. Our Coshocton Rotary Club was part of that. They raised money to see that every poor kid throughout the world got vaccinated and to help with Bill and Melinda Gates from the Microsoft Foundation. So maybe Rotary and the Gates might be called in action again with this COVID-19 vaccine when it comes out. I remember the Kennedy and Nixon presidential era with the name calling, false accusations, voter fraud, and divided government. Some voters unhappy with the election outcome threatened to move to Canada. And we just heard that before. Yogi Berra, the Hall of Fame baseball player, he would say it's like deja vu all over again. I can remember the Cuban Missile Crisis and practicing nuclear attack war drills in school. I remember riots after Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination, burning of businesses, bombing of government buildings, looting, killing in the streets. I remember getting off a of Trailways bus in Washington, D.C., wearing my Army dress uniform and a Vietnam War protester walking up and spitting on me. I remember serving in a NATO military unit and I saw government employees under socialist leaning governments who were always on strike and were never satisfied. I saw what communism was like in Yugoslavia where the residents just tolerated their own enslavement. I participated in war games against the Russian army and we were going to fire one ton tactical nuclear warheads on honest John rockets at East German soldiers on the other side of the Iron Curtain. My experiences have taught me many things. I grew as a person. Our country's experiences has taught it many things. And we grew as a country. We got better. Not perfect, but we got better. So I think we'll all learn something from our current pandemic and current political debates. Our family farm was about seven miles as the crow flies from where President Abraham Lincoln was born and lived till he was seven. So I'd be remiss if I didn't quote Lincoln. Lincoln said our country was the, the last best hope on earth. Although things are chaotic, very confusing, and many things are still downright wrong. But I believe Lincoln was onto something. I'm optimistic we'll all become closer to our families and after this pandemic and we'll appreciate Coshocton County is a good place to raise a family. Staying home with family, investing in home ownership, that makes me and the shareholders at Iris Hardware believe our store can be there 100 years from now. Our goal is to some way, someday have a sign like our friendly competitor, Kashaka Lumber, whose sign reads, established in 1898. They outlasted the Giants 84 Lumber and Carter Lumber who came to Kashaka and stayed a while and left. Maybe the Chamber of Commerce thing about shop local really means something. So our Ace Hardware has 40 years under our belt to that end. I won't be around 60 years from now to get that Century Award, but I think my daughter and fellow shareholders, with the support of the Chamber and the residents of the county, 100 years in business is a reality. So thank you, and I accept the Coshocton Coshocktonian Award on behalf of my family, our shareholders, employees, the bankers that helped us, the attorneys that helped us, the accountants that helped us, and all the customers from Coshocton County and surrounding counties who helped us. So I'm not sure about a virtual speech, how, how well it went, 
and I can't tell if anybody laughed at the Yogi Berra joke or if anybody fell asleep, but there again, I feel honored and uh, accept this award on behalf of our store and all the people who helped us. Mm -hmm.